You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. All right, so we'll see if Brandon Moreno can get off to a good start tonight. He is a five-tool player, but the jab will appear to be his weapon of choice here in the early game. And, and honestly, John, he's developed even further as he has gone to Missouri to train. The guy is getting better. He does a good job of finding his range. He's shortened his stance a little bit, so he's not so much in a boxing stance, but he is using that to defend leg kicks more effectively, but also still have the ability to go find that jab. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Moreno gets the single leg takedown. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. That was a slick transition. Back to his feet. Oh. And he caught the kick. He changes the angle, finding the right spot to land that punch to the head with the clinch. He's got a oh. vicious combo there. Oh, that's big. Oh, big left hook there. Oh. Big right hand there. Oh, man, he's a hard. That will land it clean. Big left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, half the time to find that shot. Execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, big right hand, yes. Moreno's eye is closing up. 15 seconds to go. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut. Making his 
doesn't pull it back. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path. And this is her again. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it seemed to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Moreno's able to protect the eye there with that block, so that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Moreno's in half court. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, keeping the All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. You ready to fight? Ready. Sure. Round three of a possible five. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent's... Oh! Nice judo toss for him there. And he is back up to his feet. Smart adjustment, yep. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock the guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the Big right hand. 
finished with that attempt. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your opponent up. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. For him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds. Now, all right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see you ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, round two. Oh, gets lit up by that straight punch. Urseg's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, hurt. Both fighters start moving a little bit. Back to the feet now. He's having his way with him here. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, a huge pop in the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good ground and pound, but these fighters came to see nothing. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're gonna get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up. We're safe. Oh, oh my goodness. Now he's back up. It's a big knee. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight. And he found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels, and right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassed. Oh so far, a frantic pace as expected. And just inches away from... Oh! It's over! Do you believe it? Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Feel about the same as walking out to one of those backyard battles? What do you mean? I mean, maybe two titles on the line, but just another fight, right? Are you serious, coach? Hell no! Are you crazy? This is huge! This is legacy, Hall of Fame shit. But you ready? Whose time is it? It's my time. I'm sorry, whose time is it? It's my time! It's your time? Yeah! Then let's go! Woo!
So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. But tonight, an opportunity of a lifetime to etch his name in the history books as one of only a handful of fighters to be a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. Conor McGregor was the first to do it. This fighter can join him in short order if he can get the win against another champion here tonight. Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, you can feel the tension in the building here. Going to be very interesting to see if he can follow the emotions, focus on the task at hand as he tries to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion here tonight. This was the super fight he asked for, asking you shall receive. Let's see what he can do with the opportunity. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Great timing on that double leg. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, he's got his back now. <laughs> Back to his feet. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big shot to the head. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume time. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combinations. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. What a kick. That will land. Under a minute now to go in round one. Some separation. Oh, that will land it, yep. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the ball with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. This is a terrible position. Agbo <clears throat> Benoit's eye is closing up. Huh. That hook sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going earlier. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Well, I, I, was out the way. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous one. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Push kick there to the body. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, you see his high level. Oh, 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 oh it hurt again. Oh. oh! Big combination. Oh, how about 
about that, lands a huge strike, and then just starts rubbing off. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position in the back. Mago Medov's back in half guard, very comfortable here. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Ramirez. Well, get that man a second waist, put a belt over his shoulder. He has become a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Rarified air. Only a select handful of guys in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship have won a belt in two divisions, and you can add his name to that list. Absolutely incredible what he accomplished in this arena here tonight.